I had no idea those beer cans were going to blow like that. You left them on a vibrating bed. What did you think would happen? It's been a long day. It just, it just didn't occur to me. It didn't occur to you, so now i got to sleep in a puddle full of beer. You want to switch? No, I just want to sleep. Me too. I am bushed. Good night. Good night. Jeez, what do you do when your kid's supposed to smoke? Slap him in the head? What's that supposed to mean? You're not a very tolerable person. <sighs> You've been under my skin since we left New York. Starting by ripping off my cab. Boy, you're a tight ass. How would you like a mouthful of teeth? Oh, Hasso too, what a great personality. Hasso and intolerable. That's borderline criminal. Oh, fuck you. You, you spill beer all over the bed. You, you smoke. You fuck up the sheets. Well, who let you stay in the room? I didn't let you pay for it with you before you wouldn't feel like an intruder, which you most certainly are. Oh, I'm an intruder. Yeah, you're an intruder. I was having a perfectly good time until you walked into my life. You know, who was that who talked my ear off on the plane? I'm wondering. Who's, who was that? I'm curious. Well, who let you book a room? I did it under the goodness of my doubled heart. Boy, you're an ungrateful jackass. Well, go ahead, sleep in the lobby. See if I give a fuck. I hope you wake up so stiff the next morning you can't even move. You're no saint. You got a free room, got a free cab. Someone to listen to your boring stories. While we're on the plane, didn't it occur to you? I started reading the vomit bag. Like, didn't it, didn't it, wasn't it a clue that maybe, the, hey, this guy's not enjoying it? You know, everything is not an anecdote. You gotta discriminate. You choose things that are funny or, or, or mildly amusing or interesting. Your stories have none of that. You're a miracle. They're not even amusing accidentally. Here, honey, I want you to meet Del Griffith. He's got some amusing anecdotes for you. Here, here's a gun so you can blow your brains out. You'll thank me for it. You know, I can go to any insurance seminar for days and just sit there with a big smile on my face. And they say, how can you stand it? And I'll say, I've been with Del Griffith. I can take anything. You know what they'd say? They'd say, the shower curtain guy ring, right? Whoa! It's like going on a date with a chatty Cathy doll. One with a little string in the back. Only I wouldn't pull the string, you would. Nah, 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 nah. You know, here's an idea. When you're telling these little stories, have a point. It makes it so much more interesting for the listener! Do you want to hurt me? Go right ahead if it makes you feel any better. I'm an easy target. You're right. I talk too much. I also listen too much. I can be a cold hearted sonic like you. But I don't like to hurt people's feelings. You think what you want about me. I'm not changing. I I like I like me. My wife likes me. My customers like me. Because I'm the real article. What you see is what you get. <laughs>